Hello boys and girls, welcome to Kiko by my shoulder in Oblivion Lost. And fuck if I remember what I was about to do. So what have I got on me? I see, so I have come from Yantar and I have I have hauled some artifacts over from there and now I'm starting to remember so okay one big objective is to uh, do some uh, some logistics and uh, uh, take the stuff that I would need uh, over the north uh, take them from the bar stash to the barrier stash that's that's point one and you can see that I have some halfway uh, modified artifacts. So uh, I will be modifying these in electros from the night falls. And I need burner for this one again once the night falls. Mm, I'm gonna have to think through uh, where to do that. Uh, either, either I could go back to uh, Wild Territory because there's an abundance of all anomalies there, coupled with uh, not too frequent uh, NPC activity. Or I could go to Freedom Base and uh, and. Uh, do it there, perhaps. I have not decided yet. Also, uh, while I had the chance to sleep on it, I developed a theory uh, which I need to check. Uh, namely, the, uh, ar uh, the artifact uh, modification recipes that you perceive uh, as a reward from as a reward for uh, for doing quests for uh, for Saharov. I uh, I started uh, as usually all uh, all my suspicions uh, start very subtle. And first of all, I noticed that I had. So I noticed that I had less recipes listed in the uh, in the message history than I have in encyclopedia. I think there's 22 here and 17 there, and this gave me the idea that uh, while some data repeats. Uh, what if... Let's trade, let's trade, let's trade. Trade, trade, trade. Hello. Trade. Uh, now where was I? So yes, the idea is that uh, it could be uh, that uh, I am actually receiving uh, new data from Sakharov, uh, even though I didn't notice it at first. Trade, 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 trade. Where are you going? Maybe I should follow them. Trade. Oh. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm going to follow them around a little bit. See where they're going. They are probably just patrolling and going, uh, going to uh, to another campsite right here. But that might not be the case. I don't know. It's a mystery. Needs more jiggle physics. Anyway, yeah, I think they might be headed out from the checkpoint at what point. Ok, 
Okay. <laughs> this is the levitating campsite. Okay, at least they have the same items. I uh, uh, I have developed some theories about uh, the uh, uh, the special NPC items availability. Hey, did I sell this to you? I don't want it, so you can keep it, but it's interesting. Oh, tell me something interesting too. Okay, so I have developed a half-baked theory mm, about the uh, NPC trades. You know the the kind of trade uh, that uh, gives you access to their less typical less typical inventory uh, that is uh, guitars and harmonicas. And uh, as the Shh. Will you hush it, Barky? I'm trying to talk here. Okay, I'm heading for the road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your loudspeakers are too damn loud. I'm going somewhere here where I can talk in peace. Mm, so yes, uh, the uh, observations from uh, from Call of Pripyat are that uh, the NPCs uh, are willing to open up their secret compartment. Uh, when they are in uh, in a special action mode. Now I don't know if there's if there's a term for it in programming uh, or uh, in uh, like uh, <laughs> in developer speak, uh, but uh, uh, but from player's perspective, the thing looks like uh, semi alert. Like if they're if they have stopped fighting and haven't quite uh, switched to this casual mode yet. Another thing which, uh, which I think, or another sort of a giveaway uh, that does work in, uh, in Call of Pripyat but not here is when, uh, uh, when the uh, NPCs are on their way to pick up some loot. That's that's also when they when they tend to open up their uh, their secret inventory. Uh, of course, uh, Oblivion Lost might have uh, might have uh, made this available here too because obviously they are looting. But I haven't seen this uh, uh, I haven't seen this uh, giveaway determined walk uh, that they do in uh, in Court of Cricket. Anyway, uh, my point is, uh, there might be, uh, there might be situations, even in unmodded game, where the NPCs uh, are are placed into into the kind of action mode, or well mode of activity that uh, that enables uh, access to their inventory and that is uh, when they when they do some fighting and then and then they don't quite cool down afterwards so my theory goes that yeah yeah uh, so my theory goes that the same thing that happened in freedom base namely that the base was attacked and the NPCs uh, so the 
everybody is so fucking loud. Okay, I'm heading back there because I really want to round up this theory before I go doing anything else. Okay, so don't walk into anomaly. Quiet. Right. Uh, so my theory goes again until somebody starts yelling over it, and I lose uh, my uh, and I lose my track of thought. Uh, so uh, the same thing that happened uh, in uh, Freedom Base that the base was attacked that the uh, NPCs went into alert mode and uh, didn't quite uh, didn't quite uh, cool down after it. <coughs> I think this might uh, might kick in in other locations as well, uh, namely uh, duty base here in Bar. Uh, should it uh, should it get attacked, maybe by a controller, and uh, and Rookie Village. Should it get attacked, uh, maybe maybe by mercs or military? And uh, I understand that uh, uh, even here, in the middle of my backswing. Uh, so I understand that uh, some of these options. Seriously, Barkley, I'm, I'm fed up with your announcements. You have plenty of members already. Uh, so yes, uh, the uh, uh, the Oblivion Lost mod uh, obviously increases uh, these uh, uh, these options or these uh, random uh, random occurrences that uh, that make these situations possible. But uh, but I am not entirely convinced that the same thing uh, can't be achieved uh, in unmodded game, especially uh, especially in the rookie village uh, attack case. So I encourage everybody to experiment. Watch out for fights and then try trading uh, with the NPCs right afterwards. That's that was that was the whole long winding theory that I wanted to deliver. Watch out for fights and then trade. Hello. No, Yo. немного не в тему, но вспомнил вот. Учит значится контролер слепого пса всяким штукам. На задних mm -hmm. лапах там ходить мертвым притворяться. Дело туговато идет, а рядом зомби стоит и прикалывается. Ничего у тебя не выйдет, фигней страдаешь. А контролер ему пальцем так погрозил и отвечает. Слышь, сталкер, заткнись, да? Ты мне тапочки приносить тоже не сразу научился. What I can say. Okay, and uh, yeah, I don't think the store is available in on modded game. I mean. Yeah, look who's talking. I mean, uh, the base game. In uh, in Lost Alpha, there was an accessible little area behind this room. Now then, as everybody keeps telling me, for the loudspeakers over and over again, let's head to the bar. Yeah, trade. Stop! This area is closed to outsiders. Hello. 
Oh yes, uh, speaking of uh, random, <coughs> uh, random hostilities uh, and unmodded game, there are occasions when uh, mercs uh, attack uh, the uh, attack the board. So that's another thing to keep an eye out. the door to Hello. Come here. I've always got something interesting for people like you. I think he gives the blood of the lair uh, work. I am not interested. Not interested, I say. Okay, so shall I? My take information might well be of use to you, Stalker. What shall I take to the barrier? Well, guitar to put it with the rest. Now, do I have any ammo that I don't actually need? Nope. I'll leave the next stuff here because I already have two. <coughs> and the barkeep might want it. Okay, also I am going to check. Writing and that's not. Starts with P, I think, or severe or Interesting. Or oh, yeah, the pattern repeats. So, yes. Uh, I will take a little break in the recording and check uh, with Snitch again because before I thought that he is uh, selling the same recipes over and over but if that's not the case then I will happily uh, get some intel from him so see you in a moment okay and turns out he doesn't actually want to sell me any info so And I now remember that I wanted to bring this one with me as well because I have all these grenades. So sorry buddy, I am not giving up on this one. I also tried out uh, doing some of the side quests, the artifact quests I mean, uh, for barkeep but... Uh, but uh, doing too much dialogue with him uh, triggered uh, triggered some of the main uh, main mission uh, things as complete. And I don't want 
game keeps freezing at this point. I, I will pause the recording until I get uh, further away. Okay, uh, so... I don't know if it's the rainy weather or the NPCs, but something was totally clean at frame rate. I mean, it's not great now during recording, but it's uh, tolerable at least. So yeah, uh, the uh, the part where I do uh, where I give uh, the party some uh, some quest items uh, triggered. Uh, I didn't even know, maybe I clicked something by accident, but uh, it seemed that the, that the dialogue itself triggered the uh, main quest uh, thingy and I don't want that to be triggered, so... For now, uh, I shall pull some uh, stuff into the uh, barrier holding chest and then let's see what time it is like. Okay, it's afternoon, so it might be that uh, that I'm in the uh, in the freedom base just in time for uh, for some nighttime uh, artifact uh, shenanigans. So should that happen, I will pick up the phone again. But for now, I'm gonna pause it again. What? Oh, two of them! Good gun! Holy shit! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> ah, there it is. Okay, um... Well then, let's look at the video. Let's see if I can take some good screenshots here. The weather is not very good. Okay, so three, four cameras. And with one, one viewer. Ah, 
Ted died when uh, while being influenced by the controller. Uh, oh, hello. That means I will have to. out of ammo already. Oh, but I have this. Let's see now. What do we have? Huh, that's a big magazine. Do I have any spare scopes? No, I don't. But I, I don't actually even want any scopes right now. Oh, Okay, come to me, Suki Suki. Oh, I think. I think this might be the case of Mercs versus Blood Suckers. How intriguing! This growling doesn't sound like Bloodsucker, it sounds more like... There are some Bloodsucker noises, but... Let's do a house. Arthur, Arthur, Anomalies. Yep, there's one. Sounds like a Chimera. Get off me, I, I am about to do something up here. First thing. There are stairs. Oh, this is not one of the houses that has stairs. Okay, so the other one. <laughs> yeah, keep fighting. Mark, all right. Whoa! Hey, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I wasn't here. Okay, let's switch back to this one. And uh, please come looking for me. Uh, there's somebody here to see you. My uh... <coughs> oh shit! 
my associate will take your contract and uh, might take your blood in the process. Because why would I have to fight both the Blossom and the Moss if they can do their fighting uh, with each other? Mm, really? That's my health status. Good. 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 Do I have a window behind me? No. Okay. Do come after me. Trying to create some scenery porn here. Here, in case you were wondering, in the middle of the village. <laughs> Wabbit season. shooting faster with this one. <laughs> oh shit. Is this my blood over there? Let's hope they are not too perceptive. Everybody's having fun! It's mandatory! So, what's taking so long? I know you want to find me. You know you want to find me. Come and find me then! Oh yeah, that would be the reception. Strange fella. Kind of transparent, you would say. But uh, absolutely indispensable for uh, filtering uh, out the guests that don't really deserve to... Uh, deserve my time and attention. understand that this episode is audio heavy, but there is so much to listen in the zone. Oh, I think they're getting closer again. Did somebody just trigger that burner? Trigger the that's a dragon off that I hear. Let's see. Okay, health is okay, so this needs shreds. Oh, and I, I should save. 
least quick save. doesn't extend everywhere. Somebody's glitching out behind <laughs> behind that bush. Anybody else? I think I was hearing two before but there might be more. Yep, there is more. Where is that shooting from? Hello? Show yourself. Oh, I think he's in the building already. Okay, there are more. Okay, here they come. Dvinulis! Goody, bandage. Let's save. Oh! Okay, let's put the hard on for a second. One, two, three. Three dots. And there are at least one more. If not two. Good job. Okay, at least one more. Three, four. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna change the weapon again. Save in case I fuck something up. As I am um, want to do. Oh. Dude, I almost shot you. Okay, heart goes on. Oh! I should have I thought that was a loner. Huh. False flag, dude. My associate will deal with you. Oh, and there's one more over there. What do you know? Started looting very carefully. Of course. And did this house had an alternate door? <laughs> okay. So, pull between marks and glass apples. I'm going to ignore that one and head over this little piggy. Yoink. And then to that one. Just let you know, do that. Ooh, thank you. Do that isn't looting itself, you know. Two of them, three, and 
Now there's potentially a living breeding bloodsucker. I usually staying near the tower. Hello. This way, please. It seems confused. have taken uh, Hunter's quest after all. Seeing how I ended up here anyway. Uh, was there a burner here as well? No. At least not in this room. Exactly the scope that I needed. Oh, okay, I'm gonna keep this one as a backup. And... We can keep this and this. Oh, there was two of those. Easy now. Right. Anybody else? Ah, let's go check out that stash and another great dot over there, but I think that one is from the loner camp. And now that I'm all careless and running around, it would be very appropriate to be reminded what the zone is made of. And that is not a picnic. <coughs> yep, I think that's the bone of guy. <coughs> Any more bloodsuckers? Oh, this one looks military. Oh, except, yeah, this is not the right body, is it? Hello, thank you. Huh. <laughs> oh, very nice of you to supply me. Okay. Uh, save, I'm going to check that stash, but I do have the sneaking suspicion. Oh, okay, the loners are these, these here. I have the sneaking suspicion that I left it intact on purpose uh, to come back to some other time. Here. down here. Oh, nice point beam. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, good timing. Could have been like two minutes earlier, but it's that's, that's what we all need reminding of. Sliding makes two good screenshots, but right then and reload. Okay, here we are again. Uh, first, yeah, I didn't loot this guy before. Oh, and I missed this gun. Yoink. Oh, oh he's the dude that I shoved the stuff into and yes I have all the artifacts so I only huh 
already somebody singing, well, basically. Mm. So let's see, maybe I don't even get access to this uh, building right now, because uh, if this is a temporary anomaly... It might be... yeah, I think the way is blocked all the way. I mean, I could get through, but... Is it worth it? Who knows? Uh oh, and I'm overweight as well. Yeah, because I have. Picked up so much crap. Um, you, dead guy. Do take these extra weapons off me. I mean, this one extra weapon. This one. And. <laughs> Burning outhouse. How appropriate. And. Before I call this day. To get through these. Okay, it was bad, but not that bad. Oh yes, so this one here. Hmm, okay, I think I will take these actually. Thank you. And there isn't another way out, is there? This roof is in too much one piece. Well, that is unfortunate. I will try to make my way out, uh, and if I die on the way, ha! what do you know? So I didn't die. So I will make, make a cozy nest in the Bothacker village and call an end to an episode here by the fire. Okay, so yes, this concludes my uh, logistics uh, run phase something because obviously I got distracted in the way and uh, got off to a tangent and whatnot but yeah I think uh, I got some things done so <coughs> thank you for watching see you very soon I will carry on recording from from this point on quite a bit so yes this episode ends here thank you bye bye